So I needed a tablet for my workshop and it needed to run Windows because I tried the Linux tablet and honestly, it was more trouble than it was worth. I wanted it lightweight so I could hold it while I worked without my arms going numb. So I could move it between projects to my laser cutter or CNC and I wanted it to not be insanely expensive just in case something happened to it. So being a YouTube reviewer, I put some fillers out and found one that fit the bill with the robo color and got in touch with the company. And since I'm cheap, you get a review of it. So I don't have to pay for it. Come on, you know you would too. What's important is that I be honest about it and you can judge that for yourself. A stylus, power adapter, and USB charging cable. Okay, here it goes. Right off the bat, I'm not even going to try and install Linux. I tried Linux on a tablet. It's going to be a while before I try again. It's just too hard to configure each and every app to work with a touch screen and stylus. So this is staying Windows and I'll use Linux and Mac OS on my laptops. I'm pretty OS agnostic and just jump around. Whatever does what I need to most easily. None of them is paying my rent. I have no reason to be loyal to an operating system. Okay, the specs. It's Qualcomm Snapdragon AZX Gen 3, which is of course Windows on ARM. For non-tech foes, Basically, the way it works these days is they kind of stuff a whole computer onto a single chip. That's why it's called System on a Chip or SOC. Different manufacturers just add on the remaining parts, put an enclosure around it, and poof, they've got a product. This SOC is solidly middle range. No, it's not an Apple M1 or even close but it's lower cost and will do everything you need except really heavy gaming. It also consumes very little power compared to older hardware you might have used. It comes with 8 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM and 256 512 gigabytes or one terabyte of storage. It does not have a memory card slot although you can use the USB port, of course. It has a 12.6 inch OLED display, 600 nit brightness, Gorilla Glass, 2560 by 600 resolution. It has a 41.4 watt hour battery, which should let you work for about 10 to 12 hours on almost anything, up to 20 hours on live applications. I still have to test that though. It uses heat pipe instead of a fan so that keeps things quiet. It's 7.3 millimeters thick, quite thin actually, weighs 690 grams which is very light but still has an aluminum enclosure and a very stiff feel to it. I was expecting a cheap keyboard that would not be con conducive to coding but in all honesty it's really quite good. Not a huge amount of trouble, but I could type all day on it without complaint. Not the best keyboard in the world, but really quite acceptable. You all know I hate listing specs. I did give them to you, but usability is where it's at. I'd like to be able to mount this easily near whatever machine or bench I'm using. So first things first, I'm going to measure it and make a simple holder for it. Let me show you how I do that. 
Okay, I've got some measurement tools here and I'm gonna get the dimensions of the tablet. So now we're in MOI and let's switch the wheel to top. First I'm gonna make a rectangle with the rounded corners. Let's tap once and change the width to 288.5 and also change the height to 193.5. Click OK, the radius is 7. Right, let's make another rectangle. Change the width to 308. Height 213. Radius 10. Okay, let's make another rectangle. Okay, next, I'm going to make some circles. Okay, then now let's make some lines. Okay, we already saved this project. We have the full image now.
pros and cons. Cons. Brand. Who the heck is Robo and Color? What sort of track record do they have? The build quality is just as good as some big name companies, but do they have any known issues? Where do I get service? I have no idea. I can reveal this product and like it, but I can't really say anything about the company behind it because I don't know. So sure, it's as good or better and a bit cheaper than similar offerings from some big names. But those big names come with a service and support infrastructure. If you never need that, great. But if you are the kind of person who breaks stuff a lot or needs help with various support issues, that's going to be a problem. Again, all I can do is reveal the product, not the brand. And the brand is just a question mark. Next is ARM, so some programs may hustle you about not wanting to run. For Lightburn, I have to install a slightly older version. There's nothing I couldn't use, but I did have to work around stuff once or twice. Since Windows on ARM is becoming more normal, I'd anticipate this getting better, not worse. Last, price. It's inexpensive for what it is, but it's not that inexpensive. Configure like this with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, including the keyboard, they say it's going to be about $1,200. While I feel the value is there, th there's still a lot of money on an unknown brand. Chinese brand phones for $500, oftentimes you can get similar features as an iPhone or Samsung. There's huge value there for whatever risk you take. The value is here but it's just a lot more money up front. Would I still buy it if I have not whistled one for free? Yes, but Shenzhen also has a huge third-party repair ecosystem. Is it worth it for you? It depends if you often need repairs for your tablets and if that's worth saving a few hundred dollars to you. Pros. It's a very good solid well-made tablet. Unlike my little UMPC, I can actually type or code all day on the keyboard and it's quite comfortable. It's extremely lightweight for when I don't want to drag my big laptop and laptop bag with me. I am primarily using it around the shop, but it's absolutely fine as a daily driver and I'm sure I'll be taking it outside with me to meetings and such. I've left it unplugged for hours and the battery has barely moved. Personally, I'm very happy with it, but please keep the already mentioned caveats in mind. If you are interested, I'll link to it in the description box. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that review. I have more views coming up, but have been a little busy. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.